Welcome to the Westland Mall in Columbus, Ohio. Originally opening in 1969, this mall was the sister mall to the Northland and Eastland malls also built in Columbus, all three being built by the Jacobs Company. This was designed to be the shopping center for all of the western suburbs of the Columbus metro area. Bostick succeeded through the 70s and 80s. The 90s would start being turbulent as a lot of retailers started pulling out of Westland Mall and nearby Tuttle Crossing Mall opening in 1997, about 12 minutes away from here, Westland Mall really started to decline. With the area being known for not being the greatest, retailers started pulling out, and as anchors like Macy's and JCPenney started pulling out, Westland Mall could not sustain itself as a viable shopping center anymore. With Westland Mall officially finally closing its doors in 2012, with its last anchor, Sears, closing in 2017. As of today, Westland Mall sits completely abandoned and is awaiting for redevelopment. The inside is crazy. And I am here today to show you the inside of what Westland Mall looks like 10 years after closing. The condition and state of what Westland Mall looks like on the inside is unbelievable. As mold and water damage start to suffer through the place, it is pretty much unusable for the current structure to be redeveloped and would have to result in the entire mall getting demolished. So with that, I hope you guys enjoy this video. For this video, I am going to go ahead and leave the raw audio in, as I feel like it is necessary for this video. Hope you guys enjoy. God, here we go. If we see anyone in here, leave. Hello? It's footsteps. I don't know, should we keep going? We might as well try. Dude, look at this. Oh, it's water. 
It's water falling from the ceiling, that's what it is. This place is insane. I think it's water dripping from the ceiling. Water damage, I'm sure. It's not going any like in areas. Stay in the main areas. Oh my god, dude. Dude, look how much damage there is in the floor. Yeah, that's water dripping. Sears at the end there.
was Sears there. I've never been in an abandoned building like this before. through a little bit. closed. Let's go in the same side we went in on because there's like way more glass there.
And that concludes my walkthrough of the inside of the abandoned Westland Mall in Columbus, Ohio. This was definitely one of the more risky urbexes that I've done. And this was like the first urbex that I took pretty seriously. So I am very grateful and happy that I finally got to see the inside of this mall. This is a destination that I've wanted to see for a very long time. So I'm very grateful that I finally got to see the inside of the Westland Mall. With that, I want to thank you guys for watching this video. And if you are new to the channel, be sure to leave a like on this video if you enjoyed. And make sure you subscribe for more content just like this. Do a lot more dead mall content and other content basing around dead retail. So if you're all interested in that, stay tuned for more here on the channel. Thank you for watching everyone and have a great day.